I'm Lydia Feliciano with SouthFloridaHighSchoolSports.com. Everyone learns in different ways and in different paces. There are so many learning programs out there, so how do you know which is the right one to choose? Today, I'm going to tell you about one high schooler's dream and about a learning program that helps him achieve it. A learning program that not only helps students like you to excel in the classroom, but also in your sport. Steven Spradling had it all perfectly mapped out. A map that led him straight to his dream goals, playing baseball for Florida State University. Probably when I was about one and a half years old, I, uh, my parents dressed me up in baseball gear and uh, Marlin stuff mostly because we've always been Marlins fans, and he put a ball in my hand. And actually, the first time he put the ball in my hand, he, uh, he realized it was a bad thing because I threw it and hit him where it hurt him pretty good. So uh, that was the first time he realized that I actually had a pretty good arm and uh, that he should put me in baseball. My junior year of high school, actually, in fall ball, we were playing and a ball was hit out to uh, left field. I was playing left field at the time. And our shortstop went out for it and I went in. He jumped, I dove, his knee went into my head and before I even hit the ground, I was unconscious. Um, when I woke up, pretty much, there was just, I heard yelling because his knee was pretty messed up. and. I had a dislocated shoulder, bruised ribs, and a pretty serious concussion. And I had problems from there on with concentrating and, and reading and a lot of that from there on with tests in school. I couldn't concentrate. I, it affected my sports. Uh, there was a lot of problems going on because of that. Since I was going through all that, uh, my mom was looking for anything that could help. And she actually, they, uh, three to learner came to the school and, and uh, talked. My mom heard it and right away she was, she knew because they talked about how they originally were, uh, were using it for people who had uh, injuries, brain problems, stuff like that, but also that it's huge for sports and helping improve in that. So I pretty much fit all the categories. So my mom right away put me in that. And so, I mean, I was having the problem, so I wanted to go full in with it and committed to it also. 3D Learner Sports Performance has helped thousands of students improve their sports and academic performance. For the non-athlete, it allows the student to dramatically improve their grades. And for the aspiring athlete, it allows them to reach a whole new level of performance in both sports, academics, and to also help build an even better relationship with their parents and coaches. My SATs, actually, I had struggled with that. I was, was struggling with it, couldn't get real high scores that I wanted to and uh, so after 3D Learner it was just like night and day I was able to get the score I needed to get my Bright Future scholarship which uh, pays for 75% of everything in college which is just I mean probably one of the biggest impacts I could ask for. 3D, 3D Sports definitely changed my life. It helped me in, uh, in every way in the classroom on the baseball field. It, it, got my reading comprehension back up, my speed in my reading. Um, on the baseball field, I just, the ball started seeming slower when I was at the plate, and I could actually almost see the seams on the ball as it was coming at me. And uh, also, even in like stressful situations uh, at the plate with men on base, I started coming through a lot more in those situations because I just felt a lot more relaxed and breathing techniques I learned and, and all through that. and. Um, and in school, I was just my, my grades started going up. I was able to concentrate, especially on standardized tests. 3D Learner helps smart, struggling students who learn best when they see and experience information. These students often have two or three of the following. Number one, they often lose focus and or are impulsive. Number two, they often skip words and lines when they read and have difficulty copying off the board or reverse numbers and letters. Number three, they often get tense and have what they call situational anxiety. So tell me, how did the 3D Learner Sports Performance portion start and evolve? In 1997, we started helping students who learn best when they see and experience information. We realized these students had attention issues, visual issues, and anxiety. Then, about 10 years ago, we had a student who's, we were helping the brother, and the mother asked, can you help my swimmer? She's a great swimmer, but she always fades at the end of a race. So we started to help her, and we realized that she was swimming the 200 meter race, she was great for the first 150 meters, and then she faded. And her tension in her body also rose as the two minutes went on. Mm -hmm. So we helped her both to improve her attention so it was much better for the first 150 
meters or a minute and a half. And for the last 30 seconds, she really nailed it. She was calm, confident, and focused, which is what we want our students to be. And the climax came six weeks later when she touched the wall as Florida State champion and later earned a swimming scholarship to college. There's a visual aspect to this. So it's very important for this. With baseball players and tennis players, they're constantly seeing the ball coming at them. Well, they're, you know, their eyes have to be able to follow moving objects. With golfers, they're looking down and up and down and up, and their eyes have to be able to adjust quickly to that. So not only have we just done the anxiety and attention part to it, but it's all, as well as the vision that has helped all of our students succeed. And because of remote activities, we're able to not only just help people in Boca Raton, but as well as in South Florida and all over the world. And we've extended it to lacrosse players, horseback riders, and football players. Because not only is attention right, but timing is critical for these sports. And then we add a critical component, which is coaching. How does the student talk to himself? What does he think about? And how does the coach and how do the parents interact to kids? So we have a win-win-win situation. To address these three situations I previously described, 3D Learner for several years has been using the interactive metronome to improve attention and self-control, the Gemstone Vision software to improve tracking, and M-Wave Biofeedback to improve the student's ability to stay calm and to be able to recover from adversity. The interactive metronome is a device that helps a student improve their timing and also helps them as they're clapping and trying to match a beat to do it over 10 minutes, 20 minutes, and even 30 minutes, which means they can pay attention at the beginning of a match, middle, and most importantly at the end. But it also helps their self-control because what happens is athletes, especially as attention goes up, they start to get impulsive. So they might pull a ball or they might jump offside. And what it helps them to do is get that timing right and how to recover from a mistake. And with that as well, we're also using the right side of the body and the left side of the body to get those in sync. So when you're talking about different athletes, you're not only just using one hand, you're using your left foot, then your right hand, all these different things all come into once. And then when you're talking about vision, now you're talking about not, we're not talking about how the eyes or what they're seeing, but how they're seeing it, as far as how they're moving. So what we do is we're able to assess how their eyes move and then move into that with gemstone vision software to be able to train each of their eyes to move together and as well separately and, and really strength working out those eyes. So as far as it's training the eyes to jump around as well as to really focus on what's going on. And then we use the M-Wave biofeedback as used by Ian Woosman and the European Ryder Cup team. Yeah. This really helps a student to get calm, to get their heart and mind in sync. We also have them focus on positive expectations. So they're thinking about what they want to have happen and what it develops is congruence where the heart and brain are in sync and they're able to re proactively be in the right place and then if adversity happens they're able to overcome it by p shifting almost in an instant to that calm confident and focused state one of the traits about student athletes and Stephen exemplifies this these are determined young men and women who want to really succeed Stephen was able to improve his batting average by 200 points by getting his attention right his vision right and being calm, confident, and focused. He was able to f hit many more home runs because he had newfound power that he got when he was able to accelerate faster because his body was relaxed. And he was able to hit the ball where he wanted to more consistently because he could see it right and he could time it properly. And as well, he's able to perform in clutch situations. So when you're talking about bases loaded, two outs, teams counting on you, as well as when schools come out and they're looking at you, when, when a school came out to offer him a scholarship, he actually went 8 for 12 in that tournament with three home runs. So you're not only talking about his calm, confident folks, but he's able to perform, which is most important. And most important of all, the great feeling we have is allowing a student athlete to achieve his life goals, in his case of being on the Florida State University baseball team. Mm -hmm. And to go forward from there to someday play Major League Ball. Now the big question is what makes 3D Learner Sports Performance different than any other programs out there? What a lot of people focus on is, that they, they always say that sports are 50% mental and 50% physical. But there's a strong focus on this 50% here, but you need all 100% to work successfully. So what we work on is this mental aspect of the underlying issues, what's going on. So getting the eyes to work together being calm, being able to focus for long periods of time, and all those things make these kids really resilient and do superb. 
the other thing about it is we recognize that the goals that we want to work on are the student athletes and their parents' goals. So we work on both academic and athletic goals so we can help a student get that college scholarship, get the academic side right. And what we also realize is a huge part of mental mindset that a student athlete has that can either be supported by a parent or in some cases fractured by a parent, what they say. So we help the parents say the right things at the right time in order to help their student athlete to be all they can be. What's also different about 3D Learner is we use an assessment tools that actually show the student athlete and the parents exactly how the child's performing. So we show them on the metronome, and for instance, in the swimmer's case, we could show actually how the attention faded over time. With a visograph, we show exactly how the eyes track or don't track as the student's looking at something. And with a biofeedback, we show not only where the underlying tension level's at, but what happens when certain words or certain events are mentioned. Stephen Spradling, along with many other high school students, is a true success story for himself, his family, his future, and 3D Learner Sports Performance. 3D Learner Sports Performance helps young athletes perfect the art of sports and learning and enables them to meet their full potential. For more information on 3D Learner Sports Performance, log on to 3dlearnersports.com. I'm Lydia Feliciano with your Beyond the Sport Report on SouthFloridaHighSchoolSports.com. I want to know your story, so email me below and let's get in touch.